Hi everyone, today I'm going to share with you some blending ideas for water-based brush pens. I have the Tombow brush pens here and I have two blending pens. The blending pens are clear ink inside of there for blending. I have two of them here. I also have a blending palette. So if you don't have a blending palette, this one is from Tombow. It's a piece of laminated plastic with a color chart on the back. You can get this in the supplies listed below in the comments, or you can also use a plastic bag. When I use a plastic bag, I actually like to take a piece of white paper and pop it inside. And that way I can have a, a white base for my colors to show through when I'm blending on here. So for now, I will use the Tombow palette and, and the blending pens and the brush pens. So let's start with some colors that you think go well together. And again, this is playtime. You kind of experiment and figure out what works well. So I'll show you the very, a number of different ways to blend. One of the basic ways is to take two colors of brush pen, one light and one dark. And you can use a palette or not. So if I'm going to use a palette, I would scribble on here and pick it up. And the other thing I would do is I could just touch the tips together and I'm putting the light on the dark and I'm going to be writing with the light one. Again, this is kind of the first basic way. So I'm touching the tips gently together and then I will, I will write with the pen. So let's do that now. So I've got the light pens. This is the uh, 451 and this is the 555. They don't have to be the same color family. They can be different. So if I was to write with this one, you can see the darker blue coming out. It's very subtle, but it's there. Can you see the difference? I'll be showing you a few blending techniques and then I'm just going to keep writing and then this will, you can see, the color is going to fade out and it's going to clean itself out. Now the other thing I wanted to mention is to have a piece of scrap paper as well. On the side and the scrap paper you are going to be cleaning your brush. So that means you scribble it out and the color, just uh, the uh, darker color, the other color scribbles out and that's how you clean your brush pens afterwards. Okay, so I'm going to show you the same effect. This time I'm going to use a blending palette. I'm going to scribble on here. And I'm going to scribble in a few places and I'll show you why. Okay, then I have my light blue. So let us pick up, move this up. Let us pick up some of the blue here on this pen. And I'll write the word hello. And you can see the nice two-tone effect. And then instead of continuing to write, I'm going to actually pick up the second blue. Now, why am I using more than one blue patch on my blending palette? I am do I'm going to move this because I'm actually going to put my hand in it on the other side. I am doing that because when you start writing and, and blending in one patch, it is going to actually turn into one color pretty quickly. So that's why I'm picking up a new swatch every time and you don't need much either. So I'm going to the next one for the next letter. And you can see that pretty two-tone effect with the blues just simply by doing this technique. All right, so you could do this or you could pick up color directly from the tip if you don't want to use a blending palette and add it to the pen that way. Now I'm going to take my scrap piece of paper and color it out like that. The second blending technique I'm going to show involves the palette and the blending pen and two different colors like this. So I'm going to put the two different colors on my blending palette. You can see I don't need a lot. I don't need to cover my whole palette with a bunch of colors. There. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to pick up two different colors. And first I'll pick up the, the pink, 
with my blending pen. Okay, and then I'm going to write the first part of hello. Then I'm going to pick up the blue. Then I'm going to pick up the pink again. Then I'm going to pick up the blue again. And you can see what happens is these colors almost become um, like one color if you don't change up the colors by picking them up and then you get a totally different effect than the previous technique now this is too pink for me so I'm going to just pick up a little bit of blue and go over this one and add a little to make it more similar to the others and so that is much better so that is another technique you can use with your blending pen okay the third technique just involves two brush pens a light and a dark so first what I did is I wrote the the word in the light with the light I actually recorded I actually <laughs> was in the middle of this technique and then I realized I wasn't recording so I'm going to just do this again rather than editing and editing and editing. So there you go. You write with the lighter one and then I'm going to place a few little sc scratches of the swatches of the 555, the darker blue, onto my plastic palette. Now without the blending pen I'm just going to, if you look closely here, you can see the color at the top. So what I do is I'm going to just pick up this color, not very much, just a wee bit, and add it to the top here. And it's better to start with less color. Now this is smooth watercolor paper. You can also use Bristol paper. Um, a regular paper, paper will tear with this technique, with the blending techniques. Okay, then I'm going to clean my pen. I'm going to clean it because I don't want that blue to come down all the way. I want it to stay at the top. And so now I have it at the top nicely. I'm going to carry it up. I have a steady hand so I'm able to work with the thin lines. I'm just going to move my palette because my hand's getting in the way. So let's pick up a little bit more. Again, little is a lot and I'm using a very light touch. And I'm going to just go into the very top of this, this E, and a little bit on the other side. You want to be careful again with that other side, with the very thin strokes and going over them. Now I want to get rid of this harsh line, so I'm going to clean my pen. I want to have only that purple lavender color on my pen, so I don't carry the, all the blue down and that it blends nicely. So you don't need a blending pen for this technique. You can just do it with a regular pen. Uh, sorry, with your two brush pens. I'm going to add a touch of blue into this loop very carefully to create that, that two-tone effect in the loop. So you can see I have a very light touch when I'm going in there. I'll just do the L so you get an idea. I'm going to pick up this new bit of color from here and not much because I told you if you have too much you're gonna have trouble blending it in look how much pigment is on that little touch of color it's it's very very strong now remember you will have to play around with different colors to find out how pigmented they are and I'll stop about there and now I'm going to clean I'm going to clean this up so I have just the light purple in here I don't want to bring any more of the, the blue down and I'm going to just carry, pull it down in very light strokes and then I'm going to go over it like this with the purple and pull down so that line disappears. Okay, now let's get rid of this line here and just pull that down and I'm going to lightly go up. You don't have to do your upstrokes, remember that. And there I have a nice touch of color down there. Now let's say I wanted the, this color of blue at the top and the bottom. So what I would do is I would pick up a little bit more color here and I did the reverse and I can put it at the bottom like this. Okay, not too much color. That's enough there and I'm going to clean my pen 
and then I'm going to pull it up and get rid of that line very very gently light touches and blend that in so you get rid of that line and you have a two-tone effect so that is the third technique of blending the next technique is going to involve the blending pen and two very different colors so I am going to put this swatch this one out on my blending palette let me just put it a few spots there and I'm going to use the uh, the blue the turquoise kind of 443 color and let's do uh, which word should we do I always struggle with which word to choose let's do the word joy it's probably a bad choice on my part but <laughs> let's see how it goes okay there's our word joy I have my swatch here and I'm going to take my blending pen the other thing I wanted to mention that I don't think I did is you actually have to clean out your blending pen the same way you do the brush pens and they might be st it might be stained but that's totally okay so let's pick up this pink with the blending pen and we will lightly put it into the top of this joy and you can see it kind of turns a blue color so you have to decide you know what color what colors blend and which colors you like okay now as I pull it down you can see it lightening up all the way and then I'm going to just actually go over the whole descender for this joy right to the bottom and keep that darker color at top and create that ombre effect so let's go pick up another bit of this pink and I, it's co this this base color is dark so I'm picking up a lot more than I did with the lighter colors put it here and here now to avoid that solid that solid look I am going to clean off my my pen my um, blender pen and I'm going to continue to pull this down to create, get rid of that line between the colors and look at that beautiful ombre can you see it I think you can I just zoomed in there okay let's try that here we go picking up a color picking up that pink I'm putting quite a bit on this time because of this darker I hope I'm not repeating myself too much adding it in that darker pink see I need more there and then I go continue on I'm going to clean out my pen so I get that gradation of color between the top and bottom This last technique is going to involve a few colors of brush pens and we're going to use a blending pen but we're not going to use the palette so first thing I'm going to do is write the word I, I'll start with my lightest color my light color I'll write the word blend the reason we're starting with the light color is remember we're going to build up and add layers of color to to this color so that's why we're starting with the light color again my paper is really smooth um, really smooth watercolor paper or Bristol so now instead of using the palette I am going to use the colors of the pens and add a little bit of color with the actual pen directly to the letters and when I add it I'm going to I'm going to blend I'm not going to let it sit I'm going to blend it in because I want it to move on the paper I don't want it to stick on there and if you let it sit and you go to the next letter sometimes your paper won't let you create um, won't allow the the ink to move so you can see how dark it is here I'm going to clean 
my brush remember to have your scrap paper and do that cleaning so then we get that gradation of color we pull it down we keep pulling it down to the bottom now you've probably seen more than one color of of ink in a blended letter and so uh, you can add more than one color we can add let's add a pink to the bottom here and I'm putting very little pigment and I'm going to clean my my blender pen and then I'm going to pull up that pink so that I have blue on the top and pink on the bottom now this pink actually is very pigmented and doesn't sometimes doesn't blend well so you want to always experiment first before you go into the final your final piece so there now I've blended that nicely in the middle top and bottom and you can see it's almost like that you know the rainbow popsicles that we love so I'll do this next part of the B and then I'll fast forward this so I'm at just adding very very little color at the top I'm going to make sure my blender pen is clean I'm going to um, color it out onto a scrap piece of paper and now I'm going to go in here and add that pull it down very gently take my time I'm not rushing I'm going to create go over this little light line this well now I'm going to color it out clean that that brush and and continue to pull it down clean it out and pull it down if you don't have a blender brush you could actually try to do this and have some success with this light color of blue that you started out with on your base now I'm going to go into the bottom again and remember add just a very small touch remember you can always layer if you have nice thick paper um, you can always layer so it's better to start out with less than more Okay, I'm going to clean this out so that and I can already see that I added too much pink and it's going to be hard for me to to blend it out down on the bottom but we'll do our best and then I'm going to just try to carry a bit of this pink up because that line is so light so I do want it to be more colorful there so hopefully you can see how those lines disappear when you blend them I'm going to soften this with that that blending ink here and you get this really pretty you can add a whole bunch of different colors and that's where it's fun to just play around and I'm actually going to put a dot of pink here you play around and you experiment with look how small that dot is and how much color comes out I just wanted a little bit of color to come up there uh, you can experiment and play around with all your colors and now I'll fast forward and you can watch
So I'm sorry for the light. The sun came out and I didn't want to stop. But uh, this gives you a really good idea of how to work with your blending pen, your blending palette, and your water-based brush pens. So I hope you have some fun with blending. Thanks for watching and see you next time.